Okay, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have the following definite integral of 0 to 1 of the partial um, product of x plus k with the upper bound at 100 multiplied with the partial sum of 1 over x plus k with the upper bound of 100 dx. And today's video is just really short because um, this is actually not that difficult of an uh, integral to evaluate especially since you might be thinking your first thoughts are um, you might want to expand these two series out and then rearrange the terms and work some algebra from there simplifying but not really the case at all really it's just um, all, all I'm really gonna say is that what we're gonna do is just do a little substitution and um, work our way there from um, using just basic calculus and a little bit of simplification and there's also involves another um, subject in um, derivatives especially you might notice but I'm I don't want to give too much spoilers, otherwise it just gives away the answer to the problem and the steps especially. But um, anyway, let, I have no other things to say, so let's just jump on in. So given this integral over here, I said that we're going to do a, we're going to do a substitution. So actually, let's define a variable um, calling the one of the series. Well, one of the series. Really, we're going to set is that we're going to let y equals the uh, partial product series. So we're going to let y equals one um, k is equal to one to 100 of x plus k, then we actually want to take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of the partial product series, k is equal to one, and then x plus k. But simply, you know that using the rules of continuity, you can actually exchange this, put the natural log inside of the x plus k, but that'll change that into a summation. Seriously, um, you can actually see this by if you were to expand the sum if you were to expand this series out and then notice the pattern from there so i'll write this as the um, partial product so k is equal to one of the natural log of x plus k we're going to actually do some we're going to actually take the derivative of both sides so we have um, d over dx of the natural log of y and then we set this equal to the derivative of our um, partial sum K is, equal 100, K is equal 1 to 100 of the natural log of x plus k. But you'll notice that uh, we had to actually apply implicit differentiation. So that's why I didn't want to give too much spoilers because uh, we had to do the first step is what we want to do is take the natural log of both sides. Then with the um, topic you learn from um, logarithmic differentiation, this has to involve some rule of implicit differentiation. So doing so, when we take the derivative of both sides, we have uh, 1 over y then multiply by dy over dx since we have to take this in respect to x so you have to put the line as rotation um, notation for the dy as well so we do this then take the derivative of both um, this partial sum over here so we get that this is just 1 over x plus k then we just do a little simplification what i can do is just multiply the dx differential to both sides this is almost uh, similar to when we learned back um, from calculus about linearization you just multiply the differential to one side and the other just to, uh, to set things straight from there then doing so we have uh, 1 over y dy is then equal to the partial product k is equal 1 of 1 divided by x plus k then dx now from there let's actually just um, perform the substitution so what we have is the integral from 0 to 1 I'm just rewriting the same thing again partial product 100 of x plus k then we have our partial sum k equals 1 of 1 divided by x plus k and dx then doing so when we perform the substitution we have that um, I'll write the new bounds later but first let me put this here so we set that y is equal to this partial product so I'll put this back for y then we say our uh, we just did the substitution for 1 over y dy we set that then that shows that this is just the partial product here so I'll just replace that with 1 over y then dy then we have to calculate our new bounds since we just did a change of variables so we have 0 for x if we plug uh, 0 for x over here so 0 plus k so pretty much it's k so it's k uh, we start with the index so k is equal 1 then times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way up to 100 so in other words you could write that as a uh, factorial so that would be 100 factorial on the um, bottom bound then if we do um, x is equal to 1 put this back here so it's 1 plus k so this will start at 2 then times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 all the way up to um, 101 
So in other words, this will be 101 and then factorial. But since I know that there's not really a uh, one multiplied to this, but the, it still holds the same. So in other words, this is just 101 factorial. Then performing the necessary calculations, we get that this is just 101 factorial to 100 factorial of dy. Then this is just y to uh, 101 factorial, then 100 factorial. You'll see that this is just 101 factorial minus 100 factorial. You can simplify this out even further. You can factor out a 100 factorial, and then that will become 100 factorial multiply with 101 subtract 1. And so therefore, the final answer is that it's 100 factorial multiplied by 100, like so. And there we have it, the final answer in the black and well the purple box and i told you it's not as, it's not as, it's not that hard it's um very straightforward well if you want to consider that approach but yeah that's a uh, pretty cool if you ask me